This tutorial is part of a YouTube course playlist and a Udemy course. You can access the first phases of this course on YouTube or the whole course at Udemy. Links to both can be found in the video description. We have already utilized PIP in the previous tutorial. PIP is the default Python package manager. It allows us to manage, download, install, remove packages for our project. In the previous tutorial, we downloaded Fast API and Uvicorn. In actual fact, it was downloaded from the Python package index, and you can access that through pypy.org. So if I type in here Fast, Fast API, that would take you to a nice list here. In actual fact, the top one is Fast API. That's what we installed. And from there, you can go ahead and look at the documentation and other information. I explained the purpose and role of the virtual environment in the setup guides at the start of this course. Here we're working within a virtual environment, so we're setting up the environment for our application. So in order for our application to work, we are going to need to install Fast API. We've done that, and we are also going to need some sort of server. So we installed Uvicorn. Now throughout this project, we will need to install other packages. So in order for us to replicate this project environment on another computer, we are going to need a list of all the dependencies or packages the application requires to run correctly. So we can utilize pip to do that. So pip freeze, and then we can ask it then to add a list of all the dependencies that have been installed into this file. So we can now see a list of everything that's been installed when we installed uh, Uvicorn and Fast API. And you may be wondering what are all these other dependencies? So the thing is here that these apps that we've installed or these packages that we've installed or libraries that we've installed, they also have dependencies. So when we installed Fast API, it also installed, for example, Pydantic and so on. So this is why we have multiple installations here, not just Uvicorn and Fast API, because these packages also require or have dependencies. So by keeping a log or a record of everything that we've installed, when we now go ahead and maybe run this application on a different computer or restart the application in a different virtual environment, we can now go ahead and run pip install and not the actual packages individually. We can install everything that's inside of this file. So we use the R flag and then the file which has all of the requirements. So by running that, that's going to install everything in, the, in this list. Of course, we already have everything here, so it says requirements already satisfied. So by doing that, we have replicated the environment for our project to run successfully in this new computer. If you are working with this project or maybe transferring this project to a different computer or virtual environment. So do take a look at the documentation. I have tried to highlight some of the main commands for pip. You can see that there are some additional instructions here. Maybe you want to uninstall packages or just list all the packages. So there's some additional commands here you might want to have a look through and play around with and maybe just add some additional commands throughout if you find them useful. Let's go ahead now and delete the vent folder. I've already done that on mine, so you can't see the vent folder anymore on the left hand side. So we're just going to simulate the idea of restarting the project. Of course, all the packages are installed in the vent folder. So what we've done now, of course, is we've removed that and no packages are available. So if we try and actually run, for example, our server, it can't do that because it can't find fast API because that's not currently installed. So let's go ahead and go through the process once again of creating the new virtual environment, whether you're on Windows or Mac, it's going to be slightly different. So here, Python 3, M flag, V E M V, V E M V. Okay, so that recreates the vent folder. It does say here that I'm in the vent folder. It's just not refreshed from the previous um, initialization of vent. That's not a problem. So source, and then let's go for VMV, bin, activate. And then you can see it does say now I'm in the virtual environment. If I just close that and restart, it will refresh. Now I've just had the one VMV to indicate I'm in the virtual environment. So now I can run pip install. Use the R flag because I want to run it from a list of requirements. Now you can call this requirements file whatever you like, of course. I've just called it requirements.txt. And that, that then should go ahead and install everything inside of the requirements text file. And now I can just go ahead and start the server again. And everything is back to where we started from.